No. Guess no. who's defensive? Okay. So it's going crazy Star. over. Slow dance. Hey! <clears throat> Hi, everybody. Hey, everyone. Kaiser91 hanging out with your boy. Oh, boy. Are we going to have big fun today? Playing some more old school RuneScape. So when we last left off, we were in the middle of the Dragon Slayer quest. We had gotten one piece from Melzar. Uh, we found out another one in Goblin Village. There's another piece in Goblin Village. So let's start talking to some of the goblins up here. I've heard that one of your number has got a hold of part of a map. Uh, that'd be Wormbrain. Where would he be? Wormbrain steals too much. He got caught. He's in jail in Port Serum. Okay, so Wormbrain is in Port Serum. Uh, so let's go to Port Serum, I guess. We will use Falador Teleport to make the walk a little bit easier on us. And as you know, Port Serum is just south of Falador. And there's a jail around here somewhere uh, that we got to go find in Wormbrain. Well, okay. Keep clicking here. Uh, I know he's. this is the bar, so he's not there. This is the axe shop. No, he's not there. Um, the magic shop, the rune shop, the jewelry shop, fishing shop, the food shop. I don't think this is it either. I don't think this building right here is it either. Uh, it might be. This might. This looks like it's it though, because there's a temple over here. So this, I think, is the jail here. It looks like those little rooms might be jail cells or something. So we'll check out Port Serum when we get down there. All right, let's head on in. And there's some people in the jail. Yeah. Wormbrain. Can we talk to him? What do you want? I got you. Got a piece of map that I need. Why should I give it to you? What do you do for Wormbrain? I suppose I could pay you for the map piece. Ten thousand coins. You must be joking. I'm not going to give this guy 10,000 coins. You're not getting that piece. All right. Well, guess what, Wormbrain? I'm going to kill you. I'm going to kill you with this spell right here. Attack Wormbrain. I'm going to hit him with some spells. And ow, he says. He dropped the map part. You see it on the ground? It's underneath him. Take map part. Can't reach it. So we can't reach it. It's inside the cell with him, and he's in the way. Uh, so, guess what? It's time to bust out the old telekinetic grab. Cast telekinetic grab on map part. Telekinetic grab lets you grab things that you can see, but you can't reach. So we can't reach it because the gate's closed, but we can telekinetic grab it, and... Boom! We got it. Got the other map part. Steady map part. Uh, you will need to join it with the other two before you can see the route to Crandor. So we got to get the third part of the map, and then we're ready to go to Crandor. Down here in al Qarid, somewhere, I don't remember exactly where, there's a silk trader. And we're going to need some silk uh, for the next part of this here. Let's take a look at our quest log. Uh, an oracle on Ice Mountain will know where it is. Well, if memory serves, I'm going to need some silk for this. And I think, do you want to buy any fine silks? Yes, I want to buy some silk. How much are they? 3 GP. Okay, that sounds good. So I bought some silk from the bar in Falador. I bought a wizard's mind bomb, which is actually a pretty cool little drink. You can use it to um, increase your magic power temporarily. So like if you're trying to cast a spell and you're just not quite high enough level, the wizard mind bomb will give you an extra magic level temporarily so you can cast a spell. So like if uh, right now I'm level 44, let's say I really, really, really wanted to cast Camelot Teleport, which is a level 45 spell. But I can't cast it because I'm only level 44. Drink the wizard's mind bomb and it'll make you level 45 temporarily. Just for a little while. Long enough to cast a spell at least. Uh, so I'm at the Grand Exchange because I also am going to need uh, an unfired clay bowl. Which I can do a couple of different ways. I'm hoping I can just buy one here. But I don't know. If not, um, I will just... Uh, oh, I got some money from red berries. If, if I can't buy the unfired clay bowl... Um, which I hope I can. I'll just jack up the price so that hopefully someone will sell it. Hey, someone is selling it. I got myself the Unfire Clay Bowl. And I'm also going to buy some Law Runes while I'm here because I'm running kind of low. So let's buy like 10. Oop, that's not how many I wanted. I meant to write 10, not 100. There, buy like 10 more Law Runes. 
Um, and there was one other thing I needed to get, and I think that's a lobster pot, which I forgot to get when I was in Port Serum, which sucks because I was just there, so I guess I'll overpay for one from the freaking Grand Exchange right now because whatever, money is not an issue. Uh, so I think we have everything that we need to head over to meet the Oracle on Ice Wolf Mountain. Uh, so let's go up to Ice Wolf Mountain and get the final piece of the map. Uh, and where's Ice Wolf Mountain? Right here. So that's where we're gonna head to. I'll see you guys there. All right. Let's see here. Let's see if I if I remember how to get up here. Oh, I guess you just walk right up this way. Huh? I guess. Can I walk up there? Woo! This place is spooky. So we're looking for an oracle who's supposed to live somewhere up here in Ice Wolf Mountain. Pretty treacherous looking place, huh? I see no oracle. I see a yellow dot, but it's an imp down there. It's not who I'm looking for. I want to talk to an imp. Alright, come on. Oh, there's somebody. I see a yellow dot up ahead on the map. Let's see if that's... That's got to be our oracle, right? Shabby tent. There you are. Talk to oracle. I seek the piece of the map to Island of Trandor. The maps find a door below. Entering is rather tough. This is what you'll need to know. You must use the following stuff. A drink used by a mage. Uh, some worm string. Chain to a sheet. Chain to a sheet. That's the, gotta be the, that's the silk, right? Worm string. Silk. Um, small crustacean cage. A bowl that's not seen heat. Okay, so I got all those things he said. Um, silk. Unfired bowl. Wizard mind bomb. And a lobster pot. Uh, so do I now what do I do I got the things you said pal All right Okay, so what do I just use these on the shabby tent Nothing interesting happens okay examine shabby tent Been here for some time Okay, so I brought the stuff out here Uh Oh, it's not the tent. I have to go down down to the... He said it's down below. Hang on. Where are you, Oracle? Talk to me one more time. The map's behind the door below, but entering is rather tough. All right, so uh, I need to go to the Dwarven Mine. All right, that's right. The mine so the Dwarven Mine is down at the base of the mountain. I'm, I have to go down this way. It's just not that far. It's just right over here. Okay, so here's the entrance to the Dwarven Mine. And let's climb down the trapdoor. So I don't... Okay. I don't remember exactly where it is, but let's find out. There's scorpions in here that are somewhat aggressive, too. Gotta be careful of that. Turn off my run power, because I need to be... I need to save that. So, magic door. There's the chest. There's the magic door. Let's open it up. There's, you can't see any way to open the door. Alright, let's use the silk on the door. You put the silk into the opening on the door. Let's use the unfired bowl on the door. Alright, let's put the... There's something that's door for me to put. Let's use the lobster pot on the door. Now this one you gotta be careful. You gotta right click and go to use. If you accidentally left click and drink the wizard's mind bomb, well it won't work. So, give it those three things, or four things, and boom, door opens. Let's go open the chest. I guess, there's nothing else going on in here. If you find it, I beg you let it be. I was honor bound to destroy the map piece. This map leaves the lair of the beast that destroyed my home, devoured my family, and burned all I love. I cannot stop you from taking this map piece now. If you can slay the dragon of Crandor, you're a greater hero. There's no shame in backing out now. Alright, let's search the chest. And we found the map piece. We got all three pieces of the map, guys. Let's, let's use it together. And let's go... Oh, we got the whole thing, so let's study the map. Well, there's our map. And there's Crandor. I see a drug in here. Yeah, I saw it too. 
Uh, so the next stop is gonna have to be, um, we're gonna have to go to Fort Serum. I think that's where we go next to see if we can find a, uh, ship captain crazy enough to take us there. Now, didn't we get the shield? The Dragon's Breath shield? I thought we got that. I'm pretty sure we got it from the Duke of Lumbridge. I think I put it in the bank or something. I'm pretty sure I did get it, though. Before I go to, the uh, before I go to, um, to Crandor Isle, I definitely, definitely, definitely want to, um, want to talk to, to go get my, my shield here. I think it's in the bank. There she is, anti-dragon shield. We'll put away the other shield because we're not going to need that. Uh, I'm going to get, I'm going to get some more chaos runes because I'm not convinced that I have enough here. So let's get 300 more chaos runes. I have... I should be good on my other runes, I think. Uh, I'm not going to need this glass or the key. Melzar's maze key. I definitely don't need that. I'm going to bring my money. I'm going to bring the rest of my lobsters. Can't quite fit them all, but I got a lot of lobsters with me. Um, and I guess it's time to start making our way down to Port Serum to see if we can find a ship that'll take us. Oh. Uh-oh, guys. Evil Bob. Do you want to meet my pet? His name's Pete. Seems like a good idea. Let's go talk to, to Pete. Alright, so we got pulled into a random event. You know I always do these. Oh, it's this dumb one again. We just have to pop the, the, the things here. Okay, so let's pull the lever to find out what to get, and then we bring the keys. So let's go pull this lever and see what we gotta get. Um... The one that looks kind of like a ram. That one. Let's go talk to Prison Pete. That was the right one. Let's pull the lever again. And this little kitty with the long tail. There you are, kitty. Come here. Let's go give that to Prison Pete. Okay. And let's pull the lever and find the last one. It's gonna be the fat looking thing with the dumb fucking thing on its head. Alright, where are you? I don't, I don't see you. You. All right, Prison Pete, I got you, pal. You did it. You're okay, let's get out of here before the cat notices. Let's go. What are you gonna give me for this, Pete? I helped you a lot. Thanks. See you around. What did he give me? What did he give me? I think he gave me law runes. I didn't have 24, I don't think. So I think he gave me some runes. Not a whole lot, but he gave me law runes. That's cool. Oh, well, that's awesome. I'll always take law runes. Alright, so let's talk to some of these guys around here and see if we can get a ship. Do you want to go on a tri ship to Karamja? I'd rather go to Crandor Isle. No, I need to stay alive. I have a wife and family to support. Okay, so these guys, that guy won't take us to Crandor. Let's see if there's anyone here who will. Let's see if this guy will take us to Crandor. Uh, let's see. Okay. Interested in buying a ship? Would you take me to Crandor when she's ready? Crandor, you're joking, right? No, I want to go to Crandor. You must be crazy. The land is surrounded by reefs. Even if you found a map, you'd need an experienced captain. Even if I could, there's no way I'm close to the dragon. Okay. You know when she'll be seaworthy? Port Serum's builders aren't very efficient. It could be quite a while. Why is she damaged? Oh, uh, let's see here. Okay, she happened to be somewhere else. Grandor was destroyed. Alright, let's see here. Patched up, she'll be good as new. Uh, I'd like to buy her. The work wouldn't be too expensive. Had us 2,000 gold. I'll even throw in my cabin boy Jenkins. Oh, okay, he'll swab the deck. Yeah, I guess I'll pay 2,000 for this, this ship. 
Okie dokie, she's all yours. Alright, so I bought the ship. I can board this ship. And here's Jenkins. What do you think of your ship? Can you sail this ship to Crandor? You'll need a proper captain. Where can I find a captain? Captain's around here. Uh, for my time. Captain and retired in Draenor Village who will take any job. I can't remember his name, but he lives in Draenor Village and he makes rope. I know who he's talking about. But the ship isn't fixed yet, so let's find out what we need to get done. I'd like to inspect her some more. Hi. So, there's obviously some repairs that need to be done here. Uh. Alright, so where... They said the repairs need to be done. How do I know what repairs need? Oh, I can go below deck. Let's go down into the bottom of the ship and look around. Repair hole. You'll need planks to patch it up. Okay, so there's a hole right there. Are there any more holes? Alright, maybe I guess that I need some planks to fix up my ship. Well, I know where to get planks. I need some wooden planks and some steel nails. All right, um, there, the easiest way to get planks is probably to go up to, um, to the Grand Exchange and buy them, uh, but I know where to pick them up for free, and that's in the level 19 wilderness, uh, that's over, uh, well, you know what, I'll just go to the Grand Exchange, but just so that you guys are aware, plank, there are planks that spawn on the ground right near here, where I always fight those hill giants. There's always like planks in the ground right here. And that's where you can pick them up for free if you ever don't want to buy them or if you can't trade because you're playing Iron Man or whatever. Now I can pick them up. Uh, I can buy them, so I'm going to. I can also, uh, I also should have some nails already from when, uh, when I was working on steel stuff. I, I got a bunch of nails, so. I should be actually pretty close to good here. But once I get the planks, I can fix up that hole. Then I just need to find a captain. And that'll be that. No, 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 no. No. Down to the running X. What? Let's go to the running X. Alright, so let's get a plank. Plank. I don't know how many I need. I'm gonna buy like ten of them, I guess. Although I think I don't know if these stack. Oh shoot, I need more coins. Let's get like five thousand. Let's talk to Ned. Uh, will you take me to Crandor? Uh, let's see. They say I'm too old. Where was it? Want to go? Island of Crandor. Crandor? Uh, I'd sail it anywhere if a chance to sail again. And again, no captain in his right mind. Ah, uh, you only live once. I'll do it. At Lady Lumberge in Fort Sarum. That'll pile of junk. She wasn't seaworthy. I'd better go and fix her up. Alright, so I gotta go fix the ship. Cross onto our ship and let's patch up that hole downstairs. And I think she'll be seaworthy once we do that. So repair hole. You put a plank, you still more planks to cover the hole. Oh well I have a oh gosh, I hope it's not more than three. I only brought three. One more plank. Thank goodness I brought three. How many nails did that take? Alright, so I successfully patched the hole. The ship should be ready to go now. Alright, let's go. Alright, so now we gotta go talk to Ned, and he'll sail us over there, I guess. You can push it when we're done. Alright. Yeah, you already know why I'm here, pal. I wanna go to Crandor. Uh, where is your ship? It's in Lady Lumberge in Port Sarum. Last I heard she wasn't seaworthy. I fixed her up. You did? Excellent. Show me the map, and we can get ready to go. There's the map. I gave him the map. I'll meet you at the ship, then. Alright, so... That, as they say, is that. Um, next time we are going to hop on that ship. We're going to sail to Crandor. And we are going to take on the dragon Elvarg. And maybe die. Uh, I am going to get, instead of this sword, I'm going to go buy myself a rune uh, long sword. Because Elvarg is weak to stab attacks. And as you can see, I don't have any stab attacks. I only have slash attacks. And... This, well, I have one. This one is stab. But if you look at my equipment stats, you can see that 
I'm not very good at stab at all. It's only plus 13, whereas slash is plus 51. So, I want to switch to a weapon that I can actually use on him and do some damage with. So, I'm going to go get um, a rune longsword. And then we will be... I guess we'll be ready to go. I'm going to put away everything I don't need. I'll bring a little bit of money. I'm going to bring a, only the runes that I need for what I'm trying to do. So... I'm not going to bring any mind runes. I'm not going to bring any... I'm not going to bring any earth runes because I have the earth staff. I'm not going to bring any water or fire runes. So I'm going to bring law so I can teleport away in case I get in trouble. Um, yeah. So let's prepare. Let's do the last little bit of prep we have to do before we're ready to, to head on out. Let's get some coins. Let's get, like, 500. enough to do what I'm trying to do here. Let's see about getting a... Rune Longsword. Ooh, that's more than 5,000 coins. Let's get more coins. Let's get like 25,000 and that'll be enough to do what we're trying to do. Alright, exchange. Rune Longsword. There you are. Boom, boom, boom. Confirm. Got it. Alright, so we got us a Rune Longsword and as you can see, the other one only had a plus 53 of stab, or plus whatever this is a plus 44 of stab so this should be a little bit more suitable for our purposes we're not going to need this we're not going to need the nails we're not going to need the hammer we are not going to need water runes we're not going to need earth runes we're not going to need fire runes we are not going to need mind runes so i'm going to get the rest of my chaos runes i don't know that i'll need them but i'm gonna get them anyways inventory full of lobsters um we got our i might fight with uh my sword or I might fight with magic I really don't know yet how I'm gonna kill this guy but I think we're ready to go take him on um, and we will do that N oh shoot <laughs> how am I supposed to teleport anywhere without the without elemental runes I'll get some water runes so I can get to Falador because that's the only one I'm gonna want to go to so I'll get I'll get like a bunch of water runes but I don't really care about anything other than my ability to teleport so now I should be able to teleport to Falador. If I equip the the staff, I should be able to go to a lot more places. Well, Lumbridge, and I can cast Earth Bolt, which is important. All right. So next time we will board the ship in Port Serum and make our way over to Crandor Isle, where we will face off against Elvarg, the Mighty Dragon. Uh, so thank you so much for watching. This is Kairi 91 Wishing you a wonderful day. Be sure to join us next time for more Let's Play Old School RuneScape. Bye, everybody. Push five. Push it. Hey, everybody. Kyrie091 here. If you enjoyed this video and you want more content from me, or maybe you just like the sound of my voice like I do, consider subscribing to the Kyrie091 channel for more big fun.